Hi, welcome. This past Sunday, we finished up this series called Spiritual Things in Church. Uh, it went 10 weeks, which is uh, a longer than average sermon series. But uh, primarily looking at 1 Corinthians 12, 13, and 14, uh, about the manifestation of spiritual gifts and their proper operation in church, we spoke to how God uses us in these gifts uh, together, primarily together uh, as the body of Christ, but also individually. And uh, week six, which is where we're at now in this series, I've entitled Positioned in Christ. Now, we talk a lot about our position in Christ, and uh, that is that we are redeemed, that when Jesus died on the cross, he paid for everything, right? Right so that we are not only uh, just forgiven, we have been given uh, a new identity in Christ, that we are uh, children of God because of Jesus. And that's our position in Christ. And a lot of people struggle with that, and that may be a message for another day, but today I wanna to focus on what it means to be positioned in Christ. And to do that, I'd like to start out with a couple of verses of scripture from the Old Testament. Uh, Psalm 37, 4 and 5. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act. Now, when we connect these verses from the Old Testament, the book of Psalms, with the uh, focus for today being positioned in Christ in light of the manifestation of spiritual gifts that the Holy Spirit gives to all spirit-filled believers. Listen, uh, there's a real connection here. It, it's kind of like the old timers used to say, get under the spout where the glory comes out. Uh, it may be a little simplistic, uh, but really maybe not. We, we have to be positioned in the right place, and that is in Christ. We have to have our priorities changed, just like the psalmist wrote in Psalm 37. We have to have our priorities changed, our focus changed, so that our purest delight, what we want the most, is to stay in Christ. If we're asking God to uh, use us in miraculous ways, well, we can't be off doing our own thing and, you know, show up for an hour on Sunday and think that somehow we're going to become these marvelously equipped disciples for Jesus. No, it's a 24-hour a day, seven-day-a-week thing of staying positioned in Christ. You know, when we get too divided, when our time is too sliced up, when our allegiances are divided, when when we're trying to get just enough of Jesus to stay out of hell, but we find that we don't have enough of Jesus to really live the abundant life that he's designed for us to live. Pick, pick, pick a side, huh? Make a decision. What are we holding on to our own self-interest for? If we delight ourselves in the Lord, he will give us the desires of our heart. And why is that? Because the desires of our heart will change. The desires of our heart will be his desires. When you are seeking to grow in Christ, and when you're seeking, this fly is driving me crazy, when you're seeking to uh, be more like Jesus, when you are opening yourself up to the uh, possibilities of what it means to be in Christ, make sure that you are positioned in a place that you can receive what he wants to give you. Let's pray together. Father, I pray for anyone watching this video today that maybe has been trying to have it all. Maybe you've been trying to follow Jesus, but only in your flesh. You've been trying to, to do the good things that you think you ought to do, but maybe haven't really given your life to Jesus. I pray for those today that might be watching this video that, that feel like they're kind of on a precipice, that they realize that they're either going to have to go all in for Jesus or they're just going to fall back and live like the rest of the world. Lord, I pray that you would 
begin right now to change their desires. I pray that you would show them that holding on to what we think is valuable only keeps us from receiving what you think is valuable. So, Father, today, complete that work in their lives. Those who, Lord, are watching this video, who are passionately seeking you, I pray that they will keep positioned in Christ, that they will not give up, that they will not uh, get weary, that they will resist temptation to just coast. No, not at all. That they will pursue this living, uh, vibrant, uh, alive relationship with the risen Christ. Father, I pray for those who may have happened upon this video that uh, none of this stuff makes sense. I pray right now, Lord, that you would search their hearts and that you would lead them in surrendering their life completely to you, giving up on the way they do things in exchange for the way you do things. Lord, we love you. We thank you for your, for your mercy and your patience with us. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next week.